What up, big time gang? Welcome back to another Tommy Big Time video. This one is a special treat. This is a collection that I've amassed over time. Um, if you've been watching the videos, I'm going to start dropping the collections as I'm happy with where I'm at. Uh, if I get more pieces, cool. If I don't, cool. Like, uh, I'm good. So, um, I've amassed quite a few. Uh, I believe I went over all the magnums I've owned. Um, within, you know, the videos in the last three years. But I want to do a collection video of all my magnums together. So that's what this video is going to be about. Um, I've got 15 in a 15 slot dive case. Uh, the dive case I got for my uh, birthday this past year from my lady. And uh, it's the only 15 slot I got. And I had 15 uh, magnums, so it worked out perfect. So um, I'm happy with the collection. I'm happy where it's at. Um, I don't need any more Magnums. I know Magnum Vicks probably triggered, but I don't. Um, I'm happy with what I got. I got a little bit of a variety and a little bit of uh, redundancy with uh, some that are, you know, very similar, but all different. So, uh, if you're interested in seeing this, please stay tuned. Alright, so before we flip you on this side of the table and get you up close with the Magnums, um, I thought I'd do a little uh, a little talking. Uh, we're going to go uh, through each one. I'm not going to grab them out of the case. I'll just kind of you know bring you closer into it. Maybe I'll grab it out of the case. We'll see how it goes. I'm not really sure. I normally don't uh, game plan. But I just spent 45 minutes to an hour writing down all the model numbers and the movements and the colors and all that kind of stuff. So um, I've got quite a variety. I've got 5040Ds, I've got one SW500, I've got a lot of Z60s, I've got one Turbion, um, and I guess that's the gist of it. Those are the three movements, four movements I really have. So I have one SW500, which I'm um, excited to show you guys, and I have one Turbion, which I'm super stoked, in the Magnum collection. So not just counting my whole collection, just the Magnums, which are in this case here, which is right there. I got my Georgia Mountain Watch shirt on, the Kapawi. Uh, this is for the raffle. This is a Georgia Mountain Watch raffle. And uh, if you haven't checked it out, do so. My buddy Michael Carson uh, runs it. Awesome dude. Um, I can't say anything but great things about the guy. And uh, I got to show my support and wear his shirt. So uh, stay tuned. I'll, uh, I'll get you guys on this side of the table. I'm excited to show you guys. I hope you're excited. And uh, 15, most people don't even own 15 watches and I've got 15 just Magnums. So uh, not bragging, by no means, I just wanna show you guys what I have. And uh, Mohammed Kamash is a respected Invicta collector. If you're into Invicta Deep, you know the name, I'm sure. And uh, I was posting, I don't know how many I had at that time, maybe six, eight Magnums. And I was posting pictures of them and uh, he was like, okay, well, now you need a meteorite. Now you need an SW500. And I was like, you know, he's right. You know, I'm gonna have all these same movements. Yeah, they're all different color variations, but I need those. So uh, I got diamond, I got meteorite, I got SW500, I got tourbillon. So I went for it and I've got them. I've got JT. So uh, as I show you the watches, I'll go over each one and what they are. If it's a Jason Taylor, if it's a tourbillon, and let you know. So uh, here we go, I'm excited. All right, so here we are. Try to get them all in view. There's all 15 of my beauties. I'm holding the camera, so I'm sorry if it's jiggling, but I wanted to be able to get in one-on-one -on -one with the watches, and it's just easier if I'm holding the camera. So um, we'll start here, left to right. So this one here is my replacement for the fake. Nor your T's hooked me up with this watch. I appreciate you uh, greatly. So um, when I made that fake Magnum video and I was pretty pissed off, uh, Nori reached out to me and she was like, hey, um, I've got this watch I don't wear. Uh, would you like it? And I was like, no, no, you know. And then she was like, I insist, you know, um, it's yours. Give me your address. 
So this came in, it came in on the strap and uh, I put it on a bracelet. So you'll see it has a bracelet now. I think just because I'm a bracelet person, I need to have bracelets on most of my watches. But um, the original one I had was gold dial with blue accents. And she hooked me up with this all gold with the uh, blue dial, which is beautiful. Super happy. This is never going to leave my collection. This is a keeper forever. And so um, I upgraded it to a bracelet to make it, you know, my own, make it unique. I also put um, the blue screw bars on it just to add that little extra pop. So that's that one. And that is model number 25608 with the 5040D uh, Ronda movement in it. And it's all gold with a blue dial. And that's blue on the primary and the secondary dial. So then we go to the combat. So that bad boy there is a combat. It's like a gunmetal dial, all black case and bracelet. See that there? Now this one is also a 5040D Ronda movement. And this one is model number 25211. Then we've got the SW500, which is right there, bada boom, bada bing. And this one is all gold bracelet, all gold case, gold dial with the blue accents. It's got the rotor in the back. And this one is yellow gold, not rose. It might come off for a little rose in the uh, video, but it's definitely yellow gold. And this one is model number 27149 with the Swiss Salida SW500 in it. Beautiful watch. Then we move on to one of my newest uh, members of the uh, Magnum family. And this is the gunmetal case and bracelet with the rose accents and then the uh, white mother of pearl. And this is model number 34132. And it's got a Z60 Ronda movement in it. Quartz, of course. I've only got two non-quartz Magnums. You just saw one of them in the SW500, which is here. And then we've got this bad boy here. And then next is its sister, or its brother, um, 34131. This one is all rose gold. I had to have a rose gold and a gunmetal in my collection. And uh, this one's all rose gold. Gunmetal dial with the uh, mother of pearl. So gunmetal accents with mother of pearl. Beautiful watch. All rose gold, the whole thing. And that's the Ronda Z60 quartz movement in that one also. And these are all reserve. All of my um, magnums are reserve. So now we're gonna move over to this all stainless steel. And this is 25208 Z60. This is all stainless steel, high polished and brushed. See that there? With a silver dial and uh, black accents. Next, we got the Burgundy. This one I got from Frank Rayo. Love this watch. And uh, this one is 25949. Ronda Z60 quartz movement as well. Burgundy on the bezel, Burgundy on the silver dial. And then we've got the burgundy uh, crowns, pushers, burgundy on the secondary dial as well. And then the burgundy down the center links. Beautiful watch. I really dig this one. Um, I'm not very much into burgundy. I think this is my only burgundy watch, but I really like it. I've worn it several times and for not owning it for many years, that's kind of rare. And then uh, next you can see it here over, over here, the Turbion. I got this one from Marco Gallardo uh, a while back. This one is Black Mother of Pearl. It's got the TY800 uh, Turbion Chinese movement. All stainless steel, high polished and brushed with that Mother of Pearl on both dials. Beautiful watch. Had to have a Turbion Magnum. You just can't, you can't go wrong. It's beautiful. I love this watch. One of my grills for sure. Then one of the original top five that I got was this one here. I got this one from Marcus Klepper. This is a Ronda 5040D. And this is model number 2112. 
This is all stainless steel brushed and high polished with the blue accents, blue bezel, blue crown and pushers. And I don't think I told you the Turbion name, the, or Turbion model number. The Turbion is model number 28392. And then the brother to that one is the black bezel, black dial, all stainless steel, high polished and brushed. And this one is also a 5040D. And this is model number 25204. So we've gotten through 10 so far. Next is the all black case and bracelet with the gold accents, gold down the center links. See that there, gold down the center links. And this is a Z60 movement. This is a Jason Taylor, one of two Jason Taylors I own in the Magnum collection. And this is model number 28410, number 27 out of 999. Love that watch. I was after it for a while. I had to have it. I got it. This one has a little story. I've told the story time on it when I did the actual video on this watch. This was one I bought when I had my hernia surgery and I was down for the count. I bought two watches and this is one of them. And this is a dolphin dial scheme. So it's got the uh, teal and the orange. And it's all stainless steel with black down the center links and a black bezel, black crown and pushers, black dial. And this is also a Jason Taylor. This is model number 28409 with the Z60 movement. And this is model our uh, limited edition 159 out of 999. And uh, I'm not really a man of many colors. I'm not, you know, into bright colors and stuff, but that dolphin dial is just killer. I really like the way it looks. Next is the meteorite with the diamond bezel. So this one is model number 28413. All stainless steel, high polished case and bracelet. Diamonds all around the bezel. And then we've got that beautiful meteorite dial with the Ronda Z60 quartz movement. Had to have it. And then next to it is uh, the blue label. So obviously this is a all blue case and bracelet with gold accents. I changed up the uh, screw bar and put a gold screw bar on it to you know, accent it a little bit more because it came with the blue one. And I just thought that made you know, the pop. And then um, this is a 5040D Ronda movement as well, quartz. I really dig this watch. Love the blue labels. Then the black label. So this is a Ronda Z60 quartz movement, all black case and bracelet. And then uh, red accents on the dial, on the black dial. And uh, if you know about the black label, then you know it. They're normally always all black with the red accents. And there they are. My little Magnum collection. Very proud of them. Um, 15 is a good number. It fills up the, the 15 slot perfectly. And uh, I'm happy with where I'm at. It's, uh, it's very humbling and crazy to look at this collection and just be like, wow. You know, uh, you've got a problem. <laughs> but uh, it is what it is, right? I think I've done well with the collection. Um, I like the variety I have. I got a lot of Z60s, but I also have others. But every single color scheme is different. The only ones that are, are really identical are the two on the top, the gold one. But one is a 5040D and one is uh, SW500. The dials are completely different. And those are the only two I have in solid yellow gold. So it works for me. They play well with the whole case. And I've got a nice assortment of colors. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash the subscribe button. Um, drop a like, a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm waiting for Magnum Vic's comment. See what he says. Because uh, if you don't know who Magnum Vic is, uh, he loves Magnums. So uh, I'm sure there's maybe a couple in here that he don't have. He's got a lot more than me, I'm sure. But uh, I'm proud of my little humble collection. And uh, anyway... Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. And as always, God bless.